It's been almost 35 years. I don't understand why I still think of you. Miss Sarah James. Your smile sends an electric bolt into the center of my spine and stops somewhere inside my belly. Inside my belly, I feel the echo of your voice <laughs> and your laugh. I miss your laugh more now than I have ever missed one single sound in my entire being. I haven't shown anyone the picture I keep of you. Although you were never a secret in my heart. Sarah, do you remember when we were stationed together? Do you ever think of me? I didn't know then what I was feeling. How could I have known? I was so young. However, I know now that I miss you, that I long for the sound of your heels squeaking down the hall, because that always meant that you were less than two minutes away, and I could steal a glimpse of your radiant face. You would walk into the infirmary and check the charts. You read each section so slowly and carefully as to not miss a single word. I would try to imagine what you were saying. And then I would imagine you were speaking to me. You never were, of course. Although you did smile at me once. Do you remember what you did, Sarah? Your dark, curly hair fell into your eye as you were helping to move a soldier to another bed. As you pushed the hair back with your fingers, you just happened to look up. You gave me the cutest little grin that made me feel like I would fall all over and be the next person you were wheeling across the room. Moments later, you disappeared around the corner, and all I could hear was your quick stride as the squeaking of your shoes became softer and softer. I married years later, as did you.